Hey, it's Rainiax Mel, the Train Tutor, back in the studio and back with a bit of a technical terrain tutorial for you. We're sort of playing around in the urban sort of technical playlist and I'm looking at tent substructures. That's a bit of an interesting one, isn't it? Uh, came up on the live chat last night. I was challenged to come up with a few different ways of making various tents, and I'm going to be doing those in the Let's Makes, yeah, because I can do them from start to finish. But there's a whole load of different tent substructure techniques that I could use. So as always, when there's a lot of different techniques that you can use in various things, I'm clumping them together in one sort of short technical video that I can refer to from the Let's Makes, yeah? So this isn't about making tents per se, this is about making the substructures for us to drape our paper towels and our baby wipes and that sort of stuff over. So I've got a couple of techniques for you that are easy to do, yeah, depending on various materials and what you've got at hand. So come on over to the desk and I'll show you how to make some tent substructures. Come on. Okay folks, for our first sort of substructure we're going to make an A-frame tent. And making an A-frame tent is pretty much exactly the same as making a proper tent. It's just smaller. So what I've got here is, I've got a bit of paper, okay, and on the paper I've drawn my angles that I want my, my tent to be. Then over the top, yeah, I have taped greaseproof paper, yeah, and then what I've done is I've pre-cut my tent bars, yeah, out of barbecue skewers, okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get two of these, yeah, I'm just going to put them here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape them down, so I'm going to do that now. So I've got those taped down now, and it's time to put my horizontal strut in, and for another bit of cock, uh, barbecue skewer, I'm going to place that there, then all I'm going to do is hold it still while I come in with some hot glue. Now, you can see immediately what the greaseproof paper is for, so if I come along, and if I put it on the actual stick, yeah, and let it run down and into that gap, yeah, just like that. And then I just hold it and let it dry, back in a sec. So, all dry now, and then all we need to do is just come along, peel off our tape, yeah, lift this off, and there we have part of our A-frame. Now, it's a little bit gloppy and everything, but don't worry. Yeah, no one's going to see that inside your tent. Yeah, so the obvious other thing is I need to do the other side. So, give me a sec. So there we are. That's the next set of legs done. And if I come in very carefully and I just peel this off. Yeah, and we lift this up. There we have it. <laughs> Pull that off. A-frames. Yeah. Dead simple, dead easy, without all the fiddling of trying to hold bits while super glue attaches and all that sort of stuff. Okay, slightly a little bit too big for 28 mil, maybe, yeah, but it's about the technique and it being a little bit e bigger makes it easier to show you guys. Right, let's move on to the next substructure thing, which, what should we do next? Cardboard or foam? Let's do, let's do foam. So you've not got a hot glue gun and you want to make, say, an A-frame tent. Right, substructure time. In this case, yeah, what I've done is I've carved a quick triangle out of foam, okay, and I've pre-cut all my pieces based on basically getting the long piece, sticking it there, figuring out how long it needs to be and just trimming it, okay? So we can immediately see how big our tent's going to be. So what do we need to do? Well, dead simple, yeah? Holding things in places while the glue is really fiddly, especially with this sort of stuff. So there's a, there's a little trick to make it a bit easier for you. Okay, I've got some pins here, and what I'm going to do is if I turn this round and I go to here, okay, and hold that there, I can come along and with a pin, yeah, I can come in and I can place it right next to it. Just push it in. I do the same underneath, at the bottom. Yeah, so they're holding that in place, and then what I need to do, and this is a little bit fiddly for camera, yeah, but I'm just going to get the pins again, and at the other side, come on, yeah, I'm going to push them in there, and then one at the bottom. And then immediately you can see what I'm doing, yeah. These pins are going to hold this in place nice and steady while I drop my glue on. So next job, pull that out. Yeah, you can see my pins if I bring that up. And you can see my pins in there, in their holding positions. And then all I need to do is P 
PVA. Yeah, we'll put a good blob along there. Come in. And. Yeah, just put it there. Just like that. Yeah, and I don't have to worry about it anymore because if I lift that up, you can see the pins are holding it lovely in place. And then when that dries, yeah, I'll be able to take the pins out and I'll be left with, basically, yeah, the, the beams. What you don't want to do when you're making tents is if I made this flat block and I just draped something over it, it would be flap and you wouldn't get any of that hang that you get with tents. So by adding my poles, yeah, to the outside of the substructure, just like that, yeah, I'm going to be able to replicate a, what you call it, the sort of hang that you get with tents. So the next job, yeah, is just add in the rest of my poles. So I'm going to do that and I'll bring it back when it's done, guys. So that's all my pins have added. Looks like Pinhead's tent. Okay, but if I bring it up, you can sort of see where I've done. Yeah, just pins to, to hold them in place whilst the glue dries. So we've got that sort of tent frame. Yeah, and we've got the bars for the tent to sort of hang off. Now, it's important to note that because this is foam, I didn't actually need to put the crossbar in. What I could have done is come in with, say, a, a hot wire tool and actually U-shaped this and sort of cut it from there all the way down there. And then that way I could have got a bit of a, a natural hang on it as well, yeah, as the material's hanging. But you can do that if you've got a hot wire tool. In the meantime, yeah, I'm going to leave these to dry and I'll bring it back when and show you what it's like with the pins out, yeah? See you when it's dry. So here we are, all dry, pins out, and as you can see, I've managed to adhere my posts onto this. And of course, you know, this is just a simple triangular shape. There's no reason why you can't, what you call it, why you can't make a more complicated shape as a substructure. Uh, I used exactly this state, this tent on my, what you call it, on my Imperial Guard medical tent. Here's a pick. Easy peasy, all I did was use my baby wipes and just dra drape them over and cut them the right size then painted them up with that. So there you have it, there's another technique if you don't have a hot glue gun. Yeah, PVA pins, bit of foam and some, what you call it, and some barbecue skewers. Right, so that's that one done. Moving on, yeah, uh, let's finish off with cardboard. Okay guys, for our final substructure, we're gonna go with cardboard. Now I've got this nice thin stuff. It's two layer corrugated cardboard, so it's quite sturdy but easy to cut. All done with a craft knife. And what I've done is, I've done a triangle. I've done a triangle with the middle bit out. And then I've cut a little strip, yeah? And what I've done is, if I bring that up, do you see how I've peeled the ends? Yeah, and just separated the ply. Now what I'm gonna do is, very quickly, I'm gonna put a little bit of super glue on this. I've reached the end of my super glue, so yeah, double bit of super glue on that. Come along and then slap bang, yeah, at the top, yeah, just below that entrance. I'm going to push that and blow. Okay, so that one's done. Then it's just a matter of yeah, applying your glue to the other side. Get the last of the glue out of this that I can. Yeah, flip it over. And you've got to be position it correctly, yeah. But basically, get it right there. We go. Oh, didn't want to do that. And there we are. And if I put it up, there's your tent substructure. Now the benefit of doing it this way is when you hang your baby wipe or whatever cloth you're going to drape over it, even if you do go for paper towels. They're rubbish, but even if you do go for paper towels, yeah, you'll be able to hang over and it will get the natural droop in the middle, yeah? So it'll be able to hang loose there and hang down a bit. A bit like the old tents that were strung up by wires. At the same time, by cutting a hole in there, you'll be able to pull the flaps back and actually make it look like you can look inside. Quick tip when you're doing this, yeah? Put it down on greaseproof paper, Put your, your watch with your material, whether it's your paper towel, whether it's your, your baby wipe, whatever, soaked in PVA, whatever. Put it down, let it all dry. Then before you fix it to the base, turn it upside down, yeah, paint the inside black, okay? Because once it, it's stuck to the base, 
Painting the inside will be a nightmare job, so do it before you stick it down on the base. It's a bit sort of counterintuitive to how you normally build terrain, because normally we would put this and build it on a base. In this case, it actually works better if you don't. So there you are, guys. Three substructures. Right, let me set off the long shot. So there you have it folks, three simple techniques to make tent substructures, depending on what materials you have to hand. Yeah, the greaseproof paper and hot, hot glue, quite like that one, that's one of my favourites. Yeah, you've got the foam and the pins, that works quite well, and if you really need to, yeah, you can make them out of cardboard, yeah, and they work quite well as well. Okay, so, three different techniques for you dead easy to do and I'll be referring to this video in future videos okay uh, obviously if you've got any other techniques for making tent substructures yeah then get them in the comments below any questions as always you know I'm here to help you guys and as always like share and all that palaver and if you've liked this video I know it's a bit of a short one but I needed to do it so I can do it with the other let's makes but if you do appreciate this sort of stuff yeah and you'd like more videos like this you can always support the channel and you can do that in one of those corners or the links are in the description uh one dollar on patreon or you know uh what shall it a one-off donation by, P by the PayPal link. Either way, it all helps keep me here making this stuff and helping you guys. And in the meantime, I've got a Let's Make 10 tutorial to make, so keep your eyes out for that one, yeah? I'll be seeing you soon. All the best. Ta-da!